Hey Pisces, welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I'm going to be doing your money, wealth, prosperity, abundance, finance, career reading for the month of October 2019. If this is your first time catching one of my videos, I want to say thank you so much for choosing to spend this time with me and I invite you to subscribe because I do do these readings each and every month and I would love to share your money message with you. So Pisces, for your reading this month, I'm going to be using my Morgan Greer tarot deck. I'm also going to clarify with my Radiant Rider Weight tarot deck. Now, the other thing I want to be clear about up front is um, I do read jumper cards. As you can see, as I shuffle, cards will fly out of the deck or they will flip over. And those are the cards that I choose to read because I believe that those are the cards that specifically want to communicate a message with us. I always get a lot of questions about jumper cards, so I like to <laughs> explain that um, at the beginning so you all know. So let's go ahead and get right into it. What do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of October 2019? What do we need to know for the sign of Pisces? For the month of October 2019 as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. All right. Okay, Pisces. Let me make sure nobody is cut off here. And very interesting, Pisces. Feeling like I need one more card for Pisces, please. What do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances? Oh, I got two. And prosperity and abundance. Wow, two aces. Okay, Pisces. Things are definitely... Definitely going to start off strong for October. You've got new projects going on. You're kind of releasing some old stuff that's kind of been holding you back. You're also like, um, you're reevaluating your position, you know, as it relates to money, as it relates to your work, as it relates to business, and as it relates to your future. Now, this Nine of Pentacles, this is my favorite card in the deck because I always say that this card is me. She's all about lavishness. Uh, she's all about ultimate fulfillment, really enjoying the fruits of her labor, uh, really just kind of kind of feeling her fullness in a, in a job well done. And so when I see this in the reverse position, that tells me that you're kind of now reevaluating where you are. It's not that you don't love what you do or, or you know, you, you don't love uh, the passion projects that you're working on, but you're just really starting to reevaluate is this really all I want to do? Is this going to be my future? Is this going to be what I do for the rest of my life? And it's not necessarily a negative thing. It's just kind of like you're growing, you're having new experiences and new ideas. And so now there's other things that are just really <clears throat> starting to excite you. Things that are starting to, um, give you kind of like a new outlook and a new perspective and you want to have the freedom to pursue those things. Now we also have the death card here. This tells me that you recently went through a huge transformation. You went through a, I would even go so far as to say a transmutation where you literally just kind of turn something from one thing into something else. And You've gone through this period of inner reflection, of soul searching, of really just kind of getting clear about what it is that you want for your life and the direction that you want to go. 
Now we also have the Eight of Cups here. This tells me that you're ready to walk away from something. If you have not walked away from something, you will very soon. Now it's not going to be anything bad or negative or catastrophic. It's just that you've decided that, you know what, it's time to move on. Now it could be a relationship and it could be a relationship that's affecting your money or it could be a job or work or business situation where you've just kind of outgrown it. Uh, or, or like I said, because you've just really been reevaluating your, your position and your place and, and your future, you've decided that there's just some things you just don't want to do anymore. And there's things that you just don't want to work on anymore. And there's nothing wrong with those things. And there's nothing wrong with the people who do those things. It's just that you've, you've outgrown it, Pisces. You've literally just outgrown it. Now we have the Eight of Pentacles here. This tells me that you know, you're very, very skilled in what you do. However, you're gonna have to kind of take on some new skills. You're gonna have to learn some new things, especially because you're going through this, this transformation period of really reevaluating where you are, making the decision to walk away, and then you've got new things starting here. Look at that, you've got two aces and the world card. This tells me that whatever you're moving into is gonna be huge and it's gonna be successful. However, you have to start now, okay? Don't waste any time. You've made the decision, you've done the soul searching, you've, you've accepted that you need to learn new skills and, and you have to, you know, learn how to you know do new things and you're gonna have to meet new people and <laughs> have new experiences but the world is almost like it's telling us it's a completion of this cycle and then we have the aces that tell us it's the start of a brand new cycle and I find it interesting because we had the death card too now remember this is the end this is um, uh, you know literally putting something to rest and then picking up something brand new. Now we have the Ace of Swords and then we have the Ace of Rods here. The Ace of Swords, you know, this is in the reverse position, but it still doesn't mean that something new is not starting. It just means that uh, something new is going to start, but it's going to be a challenge for you, but you're going to figure out what you need to do because this Ace of Rods is all about work and it's all about taking action and it's all about putting things in place to start something new. So um, Pisces, I'm feeling too, like you're gonna have a lot of, it, it's almost like you're gonna have a full plate. It's like once you make the decision, okay, I'm ready to start this new thing, things are gonna come up and things are gonna happen and you're gonna be like, wow, <laughs> okay, let's do it, let's do it. You know, So just be careful of not taking on too much or getting involved in something too soon when you don't know all the details. Okay. <clears throat> so what do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of October 2019, what do we need to know for the sign of Pisces. Okay. All right, Pisces. I'm feeling like I need one more card here. There we go. All right, Pisces, so I do see a lot of house cleaning here and also um, physical, like you're really going to, it's like you're really going to have to put in some physical labor. A lot of footwork is going to have to go into this transition for you, especially as we move into that second week of October. We have the strength card in reverse, four of wands upright, the seven of cups upright, two of cups in reverse, the tower upright, and then we have the seven of wands interesting okay interesting we have two aces and then we have two sevens okay so uh like i said you're gonna have to be doing a lot of footwork you're gonna have to really you know do research and and when i say do a lot of footwork i don't mean like you're gonna have to actually you know walk the streets or anything but because you're ready to kind of transition into something new you're gonna have to really do a lot of work 
to learn about this new thing that you you're ready to pursue um, I'm also feeling too like you're you're gonna have to really uh, educate yourself on some things because because you're feeling like okay I'm ready to move into something new, but I don't know a lot about it. So you're going to have to take the time to really learn and really dedicate yourself to kind of absorbing as much information as possible as it relates to this new thing. Now, we also have the Four of Wands here. This is the foundation card. This is stability. This is also the wedding card. But I'm also feeling like you're really going to be grounded and rooted in in something very, very um, fulfilling. It's something that 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 you've been wanting to do for so long, and now you're going to feel really grounded in that. Okay, you're going to definitely um, have a, a solid place in whatever it is that you're trying to do, and it's going to work out. It's gonna it's going to take some time. You're going to need to learn some things, but it is going to work out. Now, the Seven of Cups here is all about options. You're going to have so many different directions and avenues of where you can go with this you know you could do something on your own you can do something through a company you can do something um, you know with a partner you're gonna have to really examine all the possible options because you're gonna have a lot and it could be a little bit overwhelming now I do see the two of cups here this is in reverse uh, this could be a separation or it could be a partnership that's coming to an end. Now, this could be related to your personal life. It could also be related to business. You know, it could be maybe you decide to go your separate way um, from a company, from a person, from a partner, from a job. Uh, you'll just have to see whatever, how it relates to your particular circumstance. Now, we have the tower card in the upright. This is huge, massive house cleaning, okay? It's literally demolition day where we're taking everything down and we're going to start anew. And because this fell on that ace card, it tells me that it's going to be a little bit more challenging than what you had anticipated. Um, but it's not a bad thing. It's, it's, it's part of the growth process, especially when you're moving into something new, into something big, into something that's important and something that really matters to you, Pisces. So, you know, don't be afraid of hard work and don't be afraid of, of massive change and don't be afraid of literally starting over from scratch because I'm feeling like that's kind of what you're going to have to go through, especially with all these changes taking place throughout the beginning of October. Now we also have the Seven of Wands here, and this is in the reverse, and there's gonna be people around you who just don't understand. There's gonna be people around you who are gonna have opinions, judgments, uh, negative feedback, input that wasn't solicited, and you're really gonna have to defend yourself and your position. Now I'm not saying you have to explain why you're doing what you're doing, but you're really gonna have to be strong and you're gonna have to be confident and secure that you're doing what you need to do to take care of yourself right now. This happens towards the second to third week of October, so just be prepared that you're gonna get some feedback and you're gonna get some input from people around you who don't necessarily agree and who may not be supportive. Uh, so let's go ahead and start clarifying Pisces, what else do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances? I saw one flip over. <laughs> I saw a card flip over. Finances, prosperity, abundance. Okay. Okay, maybe I didn't see a card flip over. I'm not crazy. You guys saw that card flip over, didn't you? Okay, well, if it's meant to come out, it will come out. All right. Uh, what else do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of October 2019? What do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to their money, their finances, their prosperity for the month of October 2019? All right. 
It's so interesting how cards literally will fly out of my deck. And people don't believe me when I say that. I say no. It's like, it's literally like, like something is like taking cards out and throwing them, <laughs> throwing them out. All right. Interesting. I want one more card for Pisces, please, as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance. All right, Pisces, I'm feeling like you're really, you're really going to be tapping into that divine feminine energy. We've got two queens here and the empress. And we've got the Ace of Swords. Remember, we saw him again earlier here. And then we have Justice upright. And all of these cards are upright. That's very good. So let's look at these two queens here. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Now, the Queen of Wands, she's very stable. She's very grounded in, in what she wants to do and her decisions. And then we have the Queen of Swords here. Someone who is very uh, powerful and who knows how to... Uh, manipulate a situation for her benefit now that's not a bad thing that's what happens in business every single day and um, some people are afraid of the word manipulation but I think in this case it's it's a very positive thing it's like you're um, really using uh, all the tools and the assets that you have to make them you know profitable and make them pay off for you now we have the Ten of Pentacles here. This is all about collaboration, which I'm not surprised about considering we have a possible end of a partnership here and then we have a lot of options here. So that tells me that you're going to have, you know, people around you who want to work with you and who want to support you in this new venture or in this new uh, direction that you're moving in. Now the Empress card here is all about the birth of a new project or a new creation or the new start of something. Uh, things are starting to, um, the idea gets conceived and then you're, you're going to go through this gestation period. You know, you're going to go through uh, this period of time where, where you're not going to see anything for a few months because things are, are quietly happening just below the surface. But that's a good thing, okay? So don't take... Um, not seeing visible results as things are not happening. It's just that things are happening behind the scenes because you've set it up that way. And that's just the normal process of growth when it comes to anything, especially business, work, career, and money. Now we have the Ace of Swords here. Again, this is a brand new start. And because we're doing a demolition day where we're literally clearing everything out, starting, starting from scratch, starting anew, the Ace of Swords really is, again, just really removing that residual stuff that could be holding you back. But it's also, it's also cutting away um, things that just are not growing. It's almost like pulling the weeds out, pulling out what's not working, and really getting focused on what is working and where you want to spend your time and your effort. Now, we have the Justice card here. This tells me that things are going to be you know, they're going to be fair, uh, not necessarily that you, you're going to be anticipating problems, but the justice card really is things just happening in a fair and equal way, okay? So I think that's very, very good because at least you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, dealing with someone who's unscrupulous or fraudulent or anything like that. You're going to have, you know, good people around you, you're going to have good support, and you're going to have things working out in a honest and trustworthy uh, fashion. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of October 2019? What else do we need to know for the sign of Pisces? What do we need to know for the sign of Pisces as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? Wow, Pisces. I mean, can you get any more queen energy? 
All right, I feel like I do need one more card for you, Pisces. Oh, we got two. Okay, Pisces. Be on the lookout for information coming in from the end of the month as it relates to your work. Um, Nine of Wands in reverse. Emperor upright, Queen of Pentacles upright, Two of Swords upright, Six of Cups reverse, Page of Pentacles reverse, uh, Nine of Wands, this tells me that you're kind of in that uh, letting go and you almost want to give up to some degree. This happens in the last week of October. It's okay, just keep pushing through, Pisces, you know, that's part of the process, it's part of the growing pains of starting something new. Uh, we also have the Emperor in the upright. This tells me that you're going to get support, you're going to get what you need. Um, it's just a matter of you making the request and reaching out for it. Also, the Emperor is a very um, methodical, knowledgeable, strong, powerful, confident energy. And those are really going to be the qualities that you're going to be embracing towards the end of the month. Now, you're going to feel a little frustrated and a little down, but that's okay because at the core of who you are, Pisces, you have these qualities, and they're definitely going to allow you to win in this game. It's going to allow you to make money and to really, quote, crush it uh, in this game of business and work. You just have to really assert yourself. Now, I also see the Queen of Pentacles. Again, we've got three queens in your spread. That's that divine feminine energy. And she falls onto the Empress. I mean, you're really going to... When I think about divine feminine energy, I think about um, a power that is not necessarily physical, but it's more mental and emotional. So you are very, very... Um, relying on your feminine, oh, I shouldn't say feminine, you're, you're relying on your intuitive, intuitive abilities a little bit more than you normally do. And I think it's just part of the nature of the situation here. Now, the Queen of Pentacles, she's all about, her energy is about, um, making smart decision, decisions and smart moves with her money she doesn't waste money she doesn't waste time and she's not um she's not someone who doesn't keep track of things okay and i'm feeling like that's kind of the energy you're going to be embracing towards the end of october now we have the two of swords here you're going to be you're either going to be making a very tough decision or you've already made the decision and now you're feeling a little bit stuck but it's okay because things are going to work out we have the Six of Cups in reverse, and that is all about nostalgia, history. Um, it could be someone from your past showing up, or it could be some things in your past that you've decided to let go, Pisces. You know, maybe just some relationships that no longer serve you, or it could be maybe just some old, um, some old ideas as it relates to certain people in your life that you've really decided to kind of... Uh, change your outlook about you know you've really you've really decided to change your um your perception of how the past was and i hope that makes sense because that's what i'm feeling i'm feeling like you've kind of um redefined your past relationships in a way to now where you don't feel like they are hindering you it's almost like a healing then we have the Page of Pentacles here in the reverse. This is a money message coming in. However, the timing is probably not going to be ideal because this is in the reverse. However, you are going to get news and information uh, that is going to help you. It's just not going to be at the, at the time that is probably most best considering what you're trying to do. So Pisces, I see a lot of change for you in October. I see a lot of you know, housekeeping. I do see a lot of decisions being made. And I do see you moving forward strongly and starting some new projects and you really get the groundwork in place so things can happen for you. All right, let's go ahead and end your reading with a Halloween Oracle card. Ooh, 
spider. Okay, so this is community and web weaving. Interesting, because that's what we were talking about here with this Ten of Pentacles and also with the Emperor and where else did we talk about that? I want to say it was with the Empress or maybe with these two aces here. But you're definitely going to be in that community spirit. You're going to be um, kind of really building your own type of... I'm feeling like your own type of... Um, would it... I mean... I know it's going to be your own community and your own group, but it's it's almost like your own culture, so to speak. And it's, you know, like how Apple has its own culture, Nike has its own culture. I'm feeling like that's what you're going to be doing here. You know, you're going to be creating your own community also, but you're you're creating your own culture within your own your own life. And I think that's fascinating. I think that's interesting. Let me know your thoughts on this spider card, community and web weaving. I think that's interesting. It could also be about um, attraction too. You know, like attraction, uh, it could be law of attraction, attraction marketing, or just being in, in a position where you attract the right people at the right time. All right, Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope this gave you some clarity and some insight into October for you as it relates to money, business, finances, wealth, prosperity, abundance, and all those good things that we love so much. I want to thank you so much for uh, choosing to spend this time with me. A lot of you have been reaching out for private readings and those are available. The link is in the description if you are interested. All right, Pisces, thank you again for taking the time to watch. I'll see you again soon.